Hey, y'all. Oof, last week I was on my cycle. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I was on my cycle and I was PMSing and I was trying to do a whole bunch of stuff for work for my agency because I have really big goals this year. Check out the Brand Unveil podcast. I just talked about goals and how to set goals. Yeah, so this week I was underwater. I was very irritable at certain points. Um, I was just trying to get a whole bunch of stuff done and it's getting done, but because actually starting not this past week, but the Friday before where I'm supposed to batch content or even the weekend before, I just, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And it's not like I was laying around doing nothing. I was working. Um, I just didn't get to the content creation part. So don't you fret though, don't you fret though, because I'm about to be operating in my zone of genius though, in my zone of genius though. Yes, I hired some help. So that way your girl can turn these out faster. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're gonna be talking about content creators that I think are the bomb.com and that I think are gonna do some really great things in 2023. TikTok version. So if I'm looking down, it's because in real time, I'm giving y'all the real assessment in real time about these content creators. And these are some of my fave. They keep me laughing. I think they do really good at being authentic. And obviously you guys know I'm a brand growth strategist. So a lot of my assessment of these folks may be from a brand growth strategist perspective. But I still feel like you get, like, you understand what I'm saying. Because the girls that get it, get it. Because if you get it, then you're watching them too. Oh, and these are in no particular order. Like, these are just folks that I love. And I always find myself liking their content because genuinely I either connect with it in some way or I can just appreciate it for what it is. The first one on the list is Remy Bader, okay, content creator. She identifies herself as a curve model, which I really like. I really like curve model. I think that that is some intentional use of words and such a dope way to reframe how models are categorized regardless of their size. So I love that. And I don't know if that's a thing in the modeling industry because your girl's not a model no matter how much I pretend to be. I just think that it's dope and as a brand growth strategist of course I see everything through like oh my god that's cool branding like I like that like that means something you know um I just think that's fire fuego flames so she's a content creator she identifies as a curve model and I love her realistic hauls let me tell you something about Remy Remy is funny her realistic hauls have me just looking at my phone like this (laughs) because you can just tell that she is a bubbly personality and her humor is great. I love how she can laugh at herself, which is something that I do all the time. And I also love in the same way that she is, like in the way that she is showing um, body positivity and body representation, even if she's not necessarily intending to do that, um she is and there's a level of appreciation that i have for that and i definitely know that other women do too outside of the fact that she's completely gorgeous like she's she's pretty um but i love pretty girl that's also funny and that can make me laugh and so her realistic hauls are just phenomenal i also like how authentically she doesn't shy away from the fact that when she looks good and like likes the clothes that she's wearing, she feels good. I appreciate her videos where maybe they're not always that funny, like they're actually her being vulnerable and saying, hey, like when I'm trying on these clothes or lately when I've been trying on clothes, like I just, this isn't it for me, you know? Um, And I can really appreciate that too because I feel like it shows both sides of the coin of like, hey, I can laugh at myself while I am trying on these clothes from these well-known brands so that way folks that identify with me however that is whether it be my body type 
um, my race, my humor, um, how I portray myself as a woman, like however you identify with me, we can laugh about that together, right? And find humor in it. But in the same breath, I'm a human being. And there are moments and there are times where I just, I'm not feeling it. And I like that she shows both sides of that with her brand. And it's just, it's very relatable because regardless of your body type, we all have had moments where we try stuff on and we're just like, was the designer, is it, you know, like we, we all, we all have that moment where sometimes it's even us, right? Like when we're online shopping or we see something, we think it's like, oh, girl, that's cute. I'm going to look real, I'm going to really look good in that. You know what I'm saying? You try it on and then quickly it becomes, I don't, I don't look like I thought I looked. So, shout out to Nami Vader. I think she's great. I think her content is awesome. She keeps me laughing. Every time I see her on my timeline, I'm like, yes, girl. Absolutely. And there are some bomb clothes that look good. I'm just like, yes. And for us who are not as curvy like me, like I got a little bump bump. I'm like, damn. And I love that she found love. You guys know I love love. Ooh. Yeah. So, Nami Vader. Shout out to her. Okay, so the next content creator that I think is really dope and I'm looking forward to seeing what they do in 2023 is Kitty, aka Tay and Joe. I love this mom and daughter couple. I think that Joe is too cute for words. Like, if and when I have a daughter, I need, like, I feel like my daughter is going to be just as sassy and personable and cute. Joe like Joe just has so much personality and whenever she comes on your timeline you know you are going to be entertained um and I love that her mom first of all Tay dresses her like a boss like still like a kid but a, a kid boss and I love that like every time Joe has an outfit on she's just so cute her hair is always done um i also love their bond too i think that is so cute and i love that joe is like you could tell um the mom isn't forcing joe to be any kind of particular way and that's like the best thing you want to do whenever you're crafting a brand or you know building a community for your your personal following like you never want it to be forced in any way and i just feel like tay and joe have it down to a, to a science and I can tell that when they create content like it seems like it's fun you know and Joe seems like she's having a blast like literally every time she's having the most fun and I love that for her um and I just love their bond I think their bond is so beautiful it's so sweet and they just started their YouTube channel as well so I'm looking forward to seeing what it is that they do and I look forward to continuing to follow them because every time Joe's on my timeline I'm having a blast. I'm having a ball. So, shout out to Tay and Joe. Also, I'll say Tay, and I'm not pronouncing your name correctly, because I realized when I'm making this video, I was like, have I ever heard her say her name? Like, I just feel like me and the other aunties are there for Joe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no offense, Tay. <laughs> but, Tay, girl, the hair laid, slayed, okay? It looks great. I love it. I love it. The swoop. Yes beautiful love that okay so the third content creator that i think is dope and i look forward to seeing what it is that they do is tarantino 21 so taryn is miss new york and i love taryn because i feel like we have the same sense of humor i love how she switches into different accents i love how she is very theatrical in the sense that like she'll be talking and then out of nowhere she'll go into this you know dr dramatized story um and i love how she talks to her dog because i'm the same way i talk to my pets like you know they're also a main character with me but like also don't be a main character <laughs> i'm the main character <laughs> um and i also appreciate how her content is very much like just her personality so whether she's showing you behind the scenes of what she's doing for miss new york or when she was going after i believe it's miss usa um or like walking the dog 
Um, and her dog is so big. She look a great Dane. It's huge. Um, and she lives in New York City and I love that. And I also love how um, every now and again, her significant other, like you'll know that he's there and she'll like interact with him, but like in different accents and things like that. Like she's, she's fun. She's fun and she's personable. And the reason why I resonate with her brand is because she has a nice mix of like, you're gonna get a message from me, but it's going to be delivered in a way that is very entertaining. And yeah, I just think she's great. Also, I just, anything that she wears is like chef kiss. I'm like, girl, where'd you get that gown? I mean, I have nowhere to go to wear the gown, but the gown is great. Like, it's gorgeous. And I also love that she has curly hair and I believe she's the first Miss New York with curly hair. Like, she's just great. I love what she stands for. Um, I love the positive vibes that she puts out into the universe. I love how encouraging she is and I just love how funny she is and how for someone who is in the pageant world, um, she definitely shows that she's more than a pretty face. Definitely more than a pretty face. She has a very pretty mind. So Taryn is dope. Next content creator, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do in 2023 is Christy Sarah. Now, <laughs> sorry. Hey Vogue, this is Doja Cat. Follow me while I get ready for the Scaparelli show. I love how when I look at her page, because sometimes you'll follow people on TikTok and you'll look at their bio once, but you don't come back to it all of the time. You know what I'm saying? Like even if you follow them. So I love how I'm looking at her her bio and it literally says curated chaos with the star like sprinkled. Perfect description. Christy is how I envision myself being super comfortable around my significant other and around my kids. Like, I feel protected, I feel safe, and so therefore I can be just as chaotic <laughs> and goofballish as I wanna be. That's Christy. I love how she comes up with all these crazy ideas. Girl, the cake thing, where the fried chicken I think it was, but it was actually cake insane like she does these things that are highly entertaining and that cause her husband to crack the hell up which his laugh does it for me every time it's so contagious and it's funny it's funny af um and i just enjoy how she comes up with these crazy content ideas um i love that she calls her kids gremlins i think that's so <laughs> great she's just hilarious she's hilarious she does like flips in her freaking heels for heel tests she's highly entertaining um and i get her i get her i don't necessarily know what i get about her because <laughs> again it's curated chaos but if your life is not chaos then are you really living think about that shout out to christy love christy speaking of christy yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Bomanizer, I believe, is how you pronounce it. I'm coming to stack. I'm coming to stack. What? What? What's going on here, Ben? What's going guys, what's going on here? So this creator, and I love how the bio says follow me before I'm famous. <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are you guys are funny. So this creator impersonates the Kardashians in the most, <laughs> it's like the most ridiculous impersonations, but that's what makes it funny. I don't know if this creator was always doing this. As I scroll down the page, I don't think so. I think the Kardashian impressions is just how I came across um, the bombanizer. And it's gold. Like you can tell that although it's absolutely ridiculous impressions that they actually thought about it and that's what I appreciate so much about content creation I give you guys so much credit because even if you are producing something as silly and ridiculous as 
these Kardashian impressions, I know that there is thought process behind sitting there and being like, okay, well, what is the concept of this, you know, scene that we're putting together? Also, who is coming up with the freaking random songs that we hear, like in the voiceovers that are poorly produced? <laughs> love how you randomly are watching the the skits and all you hear is the bobanizer i hope i'm pronouncing the name correctly all you hear is him like saying this wild song that he came up with that obviously fits with the skit but it's just it it's quality content it's so great they just went to the golden globes which i think is amazing i think it's so dope when creators that you can tell work really hard on their craft get acknowledged in different spaces that no one would necessarily think oh yeah like why why aren't they there but then when you see them it's like yes they just they deserve to be there you know um so I just think that that is so so cool so yeah shout out to the womanizer I look forward to seeing what it is that you do in 2023. So the other content creator that I think is really dope and I look forward to seeing what she does in 2023 is Amber Aaliyah. She also has an actual like product brand, um, a cosmetic brand. And I came across her when she first was basically positioning her product as like as if she were reviewing ads for other products, but she was integrating her own product. It was very smart. I started following her from that. Yeah, Faces Beauty Studio is the name of where she does her cosmetology work. There's locations in Georgia and in Pennsylvania, and she does microblading. She has like a beauty brand, which I think is great. Outside of her marketing her own products in a very creative way, I also started to pay attention to like when she was eating the Indian food and she was like really obsessed with it. I just appreciated her review of the Indian food. It was like covered in a very authentic way. And it wasn't even like a real review. It was more so just like, again, like more uh, the day in, day in her life, like we're having a conversation. Actually, her content is strategically structured that way. Like she even ends her videos and uses um, words like, okay, friend, I'll text you back. Or like, hey, sugar, how you doing? Like, I, I just love her content and it's very relatable. And I love how she she starts every video with saying like, hey, welcome to another episode of I want to be a part of Black Girl Luxury, but I don't feel like editing. Like that is Chef Kiss mood because here we are. I want to be a part of Black Girl Luxury too, but the editing, mm. So she just does a really good job of integrating her personality into her content, being very relatable. And also sometimes her, her content is also like a little bit of curated chaos but in a way that takes you throughout her day or whatever it is she's doing in that moment. And it's just, it's well done. It, it's well done, it's relatable, I love it. And I can't wait to see what she has in store for 2023 and also what's in store for her beauty brand as well. And then my last creator that I really look forward to seeing in 2023 is Miss Monet, honey. She just gets it. She gets it. Monet, I would say probably last year, whenever she did the, I ain't think about my man and I, boom, boom. I ain't think about my man and I, boom, boom. And actually on that video, I commented, nah, you just get the aesthetic. Like, I look forward to watching your content creation journey. That video really made me pay attention to her. Like I was following her before then, but that one in particular, I was like, nah, she got it. She got it on lock. She is a creator where I watch her stuff and it almost feels like we're having a conversation. Like I'm in the room with her. And by shopping and loving and supporting the Unlocked Lipstick Collection, not only are you treating yourself to a bomb product like Hourglasses of Quality, 5% of all profits go towards the Non-Human Rights Project. I highly recommend you guys go find your favorite shade because I guarantee there's one in there for you. Bye. She does a really good job at that and her brand, no matter what she's talking about, whether it be beauty, whether it be skin, whether it be family, she has a really great way of bringing you in with her editing style, even her shooting style. And I also love that she graduated from college and she's a, she was a nursing student and she's doing content creation full time. Like I just think that's so 
dope and such a great representation of, you know, if you do decide to go to college and you finish with a degree such as nursing, which takes a lot of freaking time, like nursing, doctor, lawyer, like in my mind, all of those take a lot of time um, to accomplish, you can still do what it is that you want to do and follow your passion. I just think that is such a great narrative and story to have represented on the TikTok world. Yeah, when they just gets it, I feel like it's also really cool to see her content. Like, I feel like it's really skyrocketing even more this year than it was last year. Side note, her waxing videos. Like, <laughs> it's so funny that phrase when people are like, oh, I've been influenced. <laughs> I, I was. The self-waxing, I don't wax, I don't self-wax everywhere now because I would just straight die. But um, she was the one that actually made me get the wax stick. Um, and so now I'm able to wax my legs and my armpits. So I always enjoy her her waxing her armpits. I know it may be kind of weird to say, I don't know. Um, because I'm like, damn, like how does she get hers to come off so easily? You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's a lot. So I think, you know, she she's just relatable. She's super relatable. I love how she just brings you in. And she's great. I look forward to seeing what she does this year. I think she's going to do great things. And I feel like she's definitely at the forefront of this new wave of content creators who, I, I particularly say lifestyle content creators, who are, you know, setting the tone for the future. That's my take on my favorite content creators and what it is that I'm looking forward to in 2023 as far as their content and their brand goes. Obviously, there are other content creators that I watch. And if you like this type of video, I'm more than happy to name them. There are a lot of great content creators out there. And sh literally, like, shout out to the folks that do this full time. It is no joke and i always knew that you know like i've had clients and we've always talked about content creation and the importance of it and even for myself and you know there have been moments before this year where i have tried to produce content on a consistent basis it is not easy it is a lot of work it is a full-time job if you let it be that or for these folks and other folks who are creating content thank you for entertaining us and informing us and raising our spirits and giving us, you know, someone to relate to. I think that's great. And I think that is what, you know, building a community, building a following, building a brand is truly all about getting people to connect and relate to you and, you know, staying authentic because when you're authentic, then the connections, they last. So those are my content creator phase right now, TikTok version. Um, if you like this video, make sure you comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Um, if there are other creators that I should check out, please leave them in the comments. Let me know. I'm always looking for new creators to check out and see what it is that they have going on, especially if they're the real deal, holy feel. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if you like this video, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next week. Bye.